Aloha and Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to another show. Uh, it's the Indiana Hat. I'm Maria Mera. I'm your host, and I'm also a financial advisor with Edward Jones. And uh, well, the purpose of uh, staying in high is to um, explore different fields of how to stay healthy, economically, physically, mentally, financially. And today we want to explore the field of uh, real estate and how real estate is staying healthy in Hawaii. And for that, I brought my guest today. Her name is Vardit Hackmon, and she works for Keller Williams Realty. Um, so without further ado, Vardit, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Happy New Year. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Happy New Year. And everybody's going to hear a couple of very thick accents today. <laughs> <laughs> so mine is from Spain. Where is yours from, Vardit? I'm from Israel. Okay, but we are both based in Hawaii, and uh, I want to uh, pick your brain today and help us understand um, a little bit real estate in Hawaii and how it's affecting this year versus last year. So let's let's start with um, with your company. Who who are you working for? So I'm a real estate, a real estate agent uh, with Killer William Realty in Honolulu. Uh, okay, this company are really great with the best resources the tools, all the technology that they have. Uh, they help us, the agent, to help our customers to have the best process with their buying or selling or, or any transaction in real estate. Okay, let's let's dissect this so much information a little bit at, piece at, at a time. So Keller Williams is not, is not um, from Hawaii, right? Keller Williams is an international company. So okay. worldwide. Huge company. Okay. How, how many agents globally? So uh, globally, they have more than, they have pretty a lot of agents. In Honolulu, I can tell you that it's more than 300. And okay. Course, there is more on each island. In each okay. island, you have like around 200 to three to 400 uh, agents. So 300 in, in on Oahu, on the island of Oahu. How, how do you guys split? Um, like I, I come from sales too, right? And sometimes you split the territory uh, just by geographical area or uh, is everything is fair game. How do you guys split there? Split so the... Every agent decide which area they want to serve. For okay. Me, for me, I help with any real estate need all over the island, depend on the customer, where they want to relocate, where they want to sell. I'm, I'm helping with all of that. So how, how do you get those leads? How do, you, um, how do you reach those buyers or the sellers? Social media, Facebook, Instagram, of course, referrals, and a lot of networking and uh, advertising. So, um, you say a, a lot of networking, but obviously it's 2020, right? So we haven't had a lot of uh, uh, at, at least personal uh, interaction. How, how is technology helping you or what are you doing to, uh, to, to reach? Uh, that, does Keller Williams have a different technology that you guys can, can use? Yes, Keller Williams have a very um, big technology. They invest in a lot of money on that. So mm -hmm. lots of good apps that it's only for Keller William. Okay. All the referral network. So basically we're working with agents around the world. So this is making your network much bigger. Okay. So, by so that, as, sorry, yes. By that you get a lot of referrals, connections. And of course, these people referring you to buyers and sellers. And be, behind that, there is big teams that working together to help each other to get those customers to you. Okay, so you, you work as a team, not uh, just individual. I work individual, but mm -hmm. with Keller Williams, either you're individual or with a team, we all work together. We okay. call it AHAS, it's agent help agent. Okay. Which I love it because it's amazing. It's a you you don't feel that you compete with each other. It's the opposite. You help yeah. each other. And by helping each other, everybody getting the benefits of it. 
Yeah. So is the is the market big enough for everybody? Do you have enough houses uh, for everybody that you have Definitely. you can sell? So yeah. how how is uh help help me understand um uh, help me understand a little bit how is the market the, the 2020 market compared to 2019? How would you how would you describe 2020? Yes, yeah, so I can tell you by the market report with the Honolulu Border of Realtor. Uh, the closed sales of single family homes on Oahu increased by 5.6%. Okay, and wow. And relatively ready from last month, you know? Okay. While condo sales decrease this year by 6.2%. That's pretty surprising because all I can see around me in the Kakako area is condos growing and growing. So, uh, so it's a, maybe the sales were done before, obviously the sales were done before the condos went up. Yeah, um, people do looking for single family homes more. Of course it's both, but we can see that there is more increase in the single family homes compared to the condos. Okay. Which is still better. It's not less than last year. It's still better. Okay. okay. So, so are, are people looking? So, you, 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 people are looking more for homes. Did I understand that right? They are looking more for homes. Definitely. Okay. So, do you think? Do you think the pandemic, because we are staying more at home and we have to work from home and and we have to do everything at home? Do you think that's that's part of the reason? Yes, this is what's happened. The, the COVID start, we all was very panic and worried and we didn't know what's going on, but people really put the time with the construction to renovate their homes. Uh, the, the lenders, this is the main reason, the lenders giving really, really good rates right now. Yeah, so the COVID very low start. interest. Yes. Yeah. Interest so what, what Sorry, I keep interrupting you. Uh, what is the what is the mortgage rate? What like if I'm going to buy a house, what would be a fair mortgage rate that I can look for? So this is will go between again. It depends. It depends on your credit score. It depends on your down payment. Yeah. But this is between two point five to three point fifty six and up. But it's pretty low compared to the last year to before yeah yes what the lender is giving you right now so this what this thing really make the buyers looking to buy and of course sellers the the market right now it's more of a seller market this is how we call it so yeah low inventory less inventory and more people that wants to buy so are the prices going up because if there is less if there is less uh, offer and more demand are the are the prices um, going up so this is also depend on some places we can see that the prices are pretty stable this is hawaii and you know the prices here are pretty stable which is yeah it's amazing you know compared to the rest of the united states but uh, yeah definitely there is some homes that the, the seller, you know, did more renovation, make it much better, and they want to make the price higher than they bought it for. Okay, um, so let's say, let's say I'm, I'm a buyer and I want to buy a house and I see the price listed. Um, and this is just really basic. What, what else would you recommend to a buyer to uh, not only look at the price, but what other costs am I going to have if I buy a house? The, you mean the what is the expenses that they're gonna have? Yeah, what else like yeah. closing Down cost payment, or to closing cost, uh, property tax, insurance, uh, home maintenance, repairs if needed. Depending there on some, the yeah, there is some cost that you should consider when you buy a home. But I think well, the main thing is the down payment. Okay. What other advice would you have for someone that is looking to buy their first house? Definitely to have a good agent. And okay. <laughs> agent. I'm one of them. And, okay, yeah. and it's definitely to have a good agent that can do all the process for you, give you less headache, less stress, 
and walked you through all the transactions from the beginning when you look for your dream home to the end of the closing. Yeah, and make, make, and make, make sure you stick to your budget also, right? Yes. So this is what the agent help you with, uh, with the budget to negotiate the price, uh, to talk with the seller agent. Uh, it's a long process. You need a lot yeah. of patience. Uh, and that's why we, we, we I, I love my job. So that's, that's what I'm doing. So you're, you're, you're a patient person. <laughs> Very patient. <laughs> I, have so, to be patient. I have to be patient. <laughs> are you, uh, I'm personal question. Do you own your house in Hawaii? Okay. Not yet. Okay. I actually live the dream. You know, I live in amazing house on the beach, on the water with pool. And I feel amazing like that. And of yeah. course, soon I'm going to buy my own house for sure. Yeah. Uh, so what are, what are your expectations for 2021? What do you think is going to happen to the market? Is, 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 the, is the trend going to stay the same as 2020? Or? I definitely see it actually going better, but that's my opinion, yeah? This is what I expect. Uh, well, what, do you mean, what do you mean by better? I mean that even with the numbers that I told you that it's increased, I believe it's going to be better than that. And for that said, because people going back to work right now, we see the process that slowly we're going back to our, I mean, I want to believe as well that we're going back to our normal life. Yeah. Even here at the island, you can see that some places open. It start to be more, um, a lot of places start to open more, you know, people coming from the mainland to tourism, the tourism, which we need as well. So I definitely said saying that the market is going to be not less than what we saw in 2020. Okay, that's good. Good news. Um, the island definitely needs that economy. Uh, uh, it, I, even though um, Hawaii, I don't think is we are suffering as much as other places, but uh, I think I think it's definitely the only thing that I see as a mother, and I spoke with a lot of parents. It's the school. I mean, you can see that everybody going back slowly, but they still yeah. don't put the kids in the school as they need to go every day. And I'm talking about most of the school. There is some schools that if they private or some school are, or they have less kids, they did take in these kids every day. But it's not everybody. And the parents need that to be able to go back to work full time we need the kids to be in, in the school. Yeah, and you, and you have a couple of kids, right? So you, you, you know this by hand. Um, okay, well, let's, let's take a little break here and, uh, and then we'll be right back. Please join us uh, after the break. Welcome back to Staying Young at Heart. And uh, we are joined today by Bardit Hartman, and uh, she's a real estate agent with uh, Keller Williams. Um, Bardit, thank you very much. Let's uh, continue our conversation. So I wanted to ask you, um, what was the most expensive house? Uh, we always look at those millionaire houses, right? So what was the most expensive house in, um, in Hawaii or any of the islands this year? 17, 17 million. I, so it was it was that house in Kauai, right? Yeah. I read about it. The the North Shore house in Kauai. Yeah. 
And yeah, that's the that one of uh, actually okay. this um, property an uh, Israeli entrepreneur bought it. Oh, that's, yes. that's very, so uh, excellent. <laughs> so <laughs> is it more, uh, and I meant to ask you this before, is, uh, are you seeing more um, investors coming from the mainland or from Japan or, or, or is it more local people still uh, just trying to get into the real estate market here? Less people from Japan, more locals that like okay. I said, yeah, they, they, they want to uh, uh, get a new home or second home and mm -hmm. some people from the mainland, definitely. Okay. Um, so is it, is it investing or is it for their first houses or second houses or? Both of them. There is okay. a lot of investors, and, uh, but more buyers of, uh, in Hawaii, local. Okay, okay, that's, that's good news. Um, okay, so let's shoot for that $70 million house one day. Uh, let's, let's switch gears here for a little bit. And I want to know a little more about, um, about you and uh, and and where you come from and how everything is going there so you 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 are from israel when did you come to the us and and why i'm here since 2005 many years i i feel local already you know i mean this is <laughs> yeah my second home i will say and the um, the covid uh, impact israel really hard it's a small the country you know, only 6 million people. And it did, so many people got the coronavirus. Uh, the governor freaked out because they wanted to prevent all the hospital from having all these people at the same time. So the good news is that now over million, 1.5 million people that already got the first, the first vaccine. Oh, yes. good, yes. yeah. So they doing it very quick. I mean, Israel, I can see it's like a very fast country, you know? They, Good. They get everything so quick, so fast, because I, I believe that the problem is the economy. When it's a small country, that's it. If it's collapsed, it's very hard to get. Yeah. Back. And yeah. they're trying to do everything to go back, that people are gonna go back to, to work, to their jobs. It's really affected a lot of people. So how is the how is the healthcare in Israel? Is it very good? It, it, I, okay. I've heard even as Israeli, it's one of the best. I mean, they help in America so much. Uh, they working together with America with all the health resources. Um, it's pre the best thing about Israel. It's also the the cost of the insurance. It's not okay. like America. It's much cheaper. There is no one person from the six million plus people that I told you that don't have insurance. Yeah, it's, it's universal. It's uni it, yeah, it's something that it's a must, and the, the you really pay through you pay through taxes or we pay. So every person that have paycheck, they they it's taken out of their paycheck like here. But even mm -hmm. the people who doesn't work, they still get the benefits of the insurance. Mm -hmm. and pay really a small amount of money every month. Yeah, so, uh, and this is hard to say um, because we love the US, right? And uh, or at least for me, it's, it's sometimes it's hard to say, but um, you can see that compared to our countries, uh, doctors, uh, they really, they, it's, it's, a, it's vocational while here is more of a profession, right? That they, they really do it because they, they want to help. Um, and here it seems more like a profession to me and not to criticize the, the US by any means, because again, we live here and we love it. Um, yeah. But yeah, it, the, there is a difference there. So when was the last time you went to, um, you went to, the U to Israel, you went back home? Wow, I miss home so much. It's been almost two years. I don't want to travel right now, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I've heard people saying about this test and all the, the process, uh, you know, so I rather do a different process, you know, with something yeah. that I, this is a hard time to travel. So, so do you still, do you still have a lot of family back in Israel? All my family back home, huge family. 
my mom, my father, my, my sisters, oh. my brothers, my nieces, so many grandkids, big family that I miss so much. But yeah, yeah soon, hopefully June, July, I can take a break and travel with my family. I can, I can definitely relate to you. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not so much the country that you miss, but uh, the people that you left behind. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm sure I, I, I stay positive. I think, uh, I think we'll get there. We'll get there sooner than, than we think. Oh. Um, yeah. So, so what brought you here? What brought you to Hawaii? Wow, this is a great question. You know, I always say when somebody asks me, it's a destiny. Okay. It's funny, really, because when I used to live in Israel, um, I was a very independent person, I think, since I was four years old, really, something that like <laughs> me to be like that, you know, with all the difficulties uh, that my mom had in the life, and, but I still have a good, had a good uh, childhood. But then every time we talk about Honolulu or Hawaii as a dream place, as something that is so far, so I would never dream to be in this place. And I went first to New York. I was there for almost two years. And, okay. and then my friend convinced me to come to Hawaii every day. She was bugging me, please come to Hawaii. It's your place. It's your place. And I'm like, me, Hawaii, what? Uh, too, too, too dreamy, you know? <laughs> it's fantasy already. And then I found myself here. I came. And you know what? I love this. You love it. Yeah. 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 It's, it's easy to fall in love with it. I love it. the people. I, I love the community. I love everything about Hawaii, which is still home for me. And I appreciate it so much, you know, to be here. To so you, that. you met your husband in Hawaii? I met my husband in Hawaii on the first day that I came here. Oh. <laughs> Well, yeah, definitely destiny. So it's, it's your, your husband is from Israel too, yes. right? Yes. So how, how did you guys meet, if I can ask? <laughs> we came to work at the same company and I came to the same company and we met there and the relationship started and it was like someone that I knew forever, you know? Now I have mm -hmm. to say, if me and him will be in Israel, I don't see how we're going to get connected. We are very different. I yeah. came to Hawaii to do business, to explore myself, you know, to, to really know who I am. And he came to surf. He's surfing since he was 11. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. I'm from the desert. He's from the and ocean. And he's from the ocean. And it's completely different minds, you know. <laughs> so is he, taking, is he taking you to surf now? Or is, are you taking him for hikes? Or <laughs> how is it working now? Not now, but at the beginning, for sure, I tried many times. Uh, but I guess it's, you know, I have a fear with the water. I think a lot of people have it. You, you cannot have fear in anything that you want to do. So I love the ocean. I go all the time. I take my kids. We swim. But to surf, I'm not a surfer. I'm, yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, and that's fair enough. And uh, you can take care of the kids while he surfs, and, <laughs> and then I'd rather the other way around. Yeah, great surfer. So, what, what do you what do you consider your kids to be? Are they um, more American, or are, are they? What, what would you What would you say? Very tricky question. I I still keep the culture of Israel, of my culture, the Jewish culture. Uh, we practice all the holidays, uh, Shabbat. I don't know if you know what is Shabbat. Every Friday, yes. every mm -hmm. Friday, I cook a special dinner for my family or friends that I invite. Uh, you, the next one, Maria. We, you need. Oh, to come I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's amazing for me. It's this is what I have to. I have to do that every Friday to really feel. You know, I light the candles before the Shabbat come in. And mm -hmm. this is really one of the days, it's two days, Friday and Saturday, that you really feel that you connected to your root, you connected to God and to this mm -hmm. universe. So I will never stop doing it. And my kids love it. And we blast every Friday for, of course, we eat every day together, but Friday is a special thing. And we blast, we pray, we sing songs. It's amazing. And of course, every holiday, 
We also have a big community here of the Chabad house, the Jewish community that we go also in the holidays. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but in Hanukkah, Hanukkah? Uh, yes. I think we was like 100 something cars with the menorah on the car, on the- Oh, I, yes. I, I, in, I, in Hawaii? Oh, were you one of those? I didn't yes, see that. Yes. <laughs> and we were driving before the sunset and it was amazing. Everything was light and, and we, and people was, uh, people love it. I see the people on the street smiling and, and taking yeah. videos of us. It was a great experience, you know, to, to show the light of the this and, holiday. And, you know, um, I think that's, that's the beauty of it, right? That we live in a different, in a different place. We are accepted. We are women. We are, and they will, we work for, for in jobs that we love and, uh, and, and this country accepts us. And, uh, and still we like to keep a little bit of who we are, right? That little bit of culture of who we are. And I, uh, I, I can completely relate while you're talking to the things that you're saying. I'm, I'm not Jewish, but I can, I can understand um, where you're coming Definitely. from. Yeah, I think it's all come from the way you grew up, your roots, you know? Yeah. You keep practicing it, it's amazing. And be, and be proud of it, yeah. Yes. If you decided to go to a different path, that's good too. I believe in everything, you know, everybody have their own belief and that's what's amazing. Like, just <laughs> believe in something, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Barney, thank you so much. Is there anything uh, real estate wise or, or life wise or health wise? Uh, at the end of the day, the soul is staying in our heart. So is there any recommendation for us um, that you have? That, that we can I close one, with. I have one big recommendation for everyone. I want free love. Oh. <laughs> free love, you know? Give <laughs> these people, help people, make them happy. When you make someone happy, you become happy yourself. And this yeah. is my, my goal in this life, to, to make people happy, to help them with, with their needs, uh, at this point with real estate uh, needs, and with everything that they want my help with, you know, I will be very happy to do that. And please just love each other. <laughs> be be well, kind to each other. <laughs> if nothing else, be kind to each other. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, but it is always a pleasure for me to talk to you and you have so much energy and passion. And uh, I, I know you excel at what you do. And I, I really want to thank you for joining us today. So thank, thank you. you. And happy best new year. Thank you for all of you. So happy new year to everyone. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we'll be here for your next stay in Yanahar. Um, be kind and uh, we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.